We're down here at the load mine again. We got a big sampling project coming up and we got a little bit of prep work to do. Hard rock mining, baby. All right, got the wheelbarrow. Walking down on the mine, you can't even see it yet. We got, we got the adit right down in here. As you can see, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Wow. What I'm gonna keep working on today is digging out this added entrance. We're gonna try to take it down a couple more feet. And hopefully my Wild West buddy Alex and Brett will be grateful for it. All right, let's hit it. Gotta loosen up the dirt. So far it's pretty soft. We got some big rocks in here as well. We're gonna try to take this down two feet today. Big rocks. Let's get these big rocks out of here. We got a big old block of quartz. This might be a little bit of ore. Kinda looks like we got an ore vein right here. Pretty darn cool. Well, this one over here. Now that we got the big rocks out of the way, it'll be a heck of a lot easier to shovel. We're gonna shovel this dirt into a wheelbarrow and continue building our road below. A little too full. Definitely overloaded that wheelbarrow. Woo -hoo, that was hard to hang on to. We're gonna be dumping that right here and building out this road back this way so eventually we can haul out ore a heck of a lot easier. Whew. There we go. Digging up here I just found some pretty darn cool. So we're digging out all this slough and the reason this is here is that the dirt used to be at this level here. There was a collar on this adit. So I started hitting all kinds of wood, digging out down here right at the added entrance. And you can see this wood is hand worked. The top is weathered. The work site is still sound. Got a whole mess of it right here. Check this one out. It's worked all the way down. Hand worked, hewn with an ax, smooth. I bet you what this was, this was the top roof of the collar, the entrance going into the mine. They had a wood roof running across the top out here, back across this way, and the entrance was down there at the tailings level. There we go. College Road's coming along. Slowly making headway. You can see this big old log right here. I believe this was the collar's cross member support. And it definitely is, look at that notch. This side's rotted off. Here you can see the notch where the support post came in and butted up right against here. Ran across and then thinner boards were covering the top going this way. That is one heck of a workout. Oh, I promised Roto I'd go cut some trees and firewood today. So we're gonna go do that real quick and get right back to here. So we dug down from here all the way up to the added entrance, ah, roughly two feet down by however far that is, quite a ways down here. Next time I'm gonna focus on clearing out this portion here so we can get down in here easier, working on those samples. And hopefully we'll find something that we can really produce some gold out of. The haulage road's coming along real well. We filled in this whole area 
We're stacking this wall with rocks so we can build up a berm and kind of a bridge filling the gap down here. Uh, I'm gonna put this one down on the right edge, filling this spot right here. Nice. Level it out a little. Looking good. I think this whole mountainside's mineralized right next to the main adit. We got another dump right here. Pretty sizable dump. That's much more than just a test trench. And this, I haven't even dug this out yet. We have an adit going back in here somewhere. My guess is that a little bit elbow grease right here, we can open another adit. It's about 20 feet off the main adit, a little bit higher up. Or buckets of ore. Ah. Now we got test pit. Test pit trench all the way up. We got a huge shaft down there and this is even yet on another vein I haven't explored yet. We could have other spider veins hidden here. This trench here is about 150, 200 feet. Off the main adit, we might have another something there. Here you can see the country rock. Looks like the right stuff that hosts the veins over here. We got some more of the quartzy pegmatite. More dumps. Some hand stacked rocks. Here's another test pit. Another test pit trench. Test pit trench. There's another test pit trench. Kind of looks like all these veins are flanking this granite intrusive right here. We got a big old blade that pushed up. And on this side, we have a plethora of veins. Two of which we know are carrying free mill. What do the other ones carry? We're gonna take a look at it here with a fresh perspective. And uh, fresh eyes. Here we got our first donkey trail and or test pit. Check out this old stump the miners hacked down with an axe. You can see the axe marks. Pretty cool. No chainsaws here. So this very well could be an old mule trail. You can see it kind of skirts the hillside way over there. As this flat feature comes this way, I already spotted something there. Hill comes up. Right here we got that ridge, that granite intrusions right here. Then the hill slopes down. So far, it looks like the veins are on that side of the intrusion. But from here, I can already see something worth looking at. So let's take a look. Here we have that country rock. This is the same stuff we were seeing down in the mine. See that? And within and alongside it, down there we were finding gold. We got quartz, massive quartz, look at that. Heck, so there could be veins on this side of that intrusive as well. Man, I love this area. So we have that potentially mineralized seam here. If I look up the hillside, I can see little quartz remnants, iron. Up there, we got more quartz. Man, it looks like a giant pegmatite up there. This whole hillside could be a swarm of veins. Someone dug in a test pit right here on this material. You can see this is native hillside. I'm not seeing much mineralization. They poked another little test pit right there. There's another one up there. But in all honesty, that looks better. And up here does no test pit. So there's potential hiding right here for sure. So this stuff's more pegmatite -y. We got feldspar in it. Some red mineralization. It's starting to look more interesting. We got iron patchworks. You got a big dump pile up there. 
somebody somebody put some effort into building this trail what well, makes me think it was a donkey trail oh we just passed a couple i didn't look at it we just missed a couple test pits back here we'll look at those on the way down they're on this lower hillside <laughs> well, i gotta start paying attention to the rock here the gold doesn't just jump out at you All right, here we have a big, big prospect trench. They trenched all the way up here, all the way up here until they hit solid rock. This is close to in line with the adit. However, it's off of that tunnel by a good 20 feet. Pretty boring looking stuff here. I wonder if this was also an intercept. It very well could have been. But it looks like if we dug down here, we've probably gotten at it. They put in a heck of a lot of work chasing this vein up here, I'm wondering what they're seeing. Maybe they pulled it all out. Here we got iron mineralization in that quartzite, which is starting to look more interesting. Smoky quartz, iron stained quartz, some magnetite. So there is something here. The main gang host rock here is this uh, solid quartzite. Looks like it's getting more iron and mineral rich down in this zone here. Uh, potentially down there as well. Let's climb up here. So this is a solid exposed rock wall. This is what the original prospectors would have seen and chased down and into the mine. Whoa. Okay. In line with this up here, Look at that. We got a big old pile and shaft going down. Directly above this pit here, you can see they cut this trail through solid bedrock. And the rock is definitely looking like the stuff that was hosting ore down in the mine. So let's follow this up. We got a different composition rock on this side. This looks like a kind of Plagio clay is rich. Type of granite over here. We got quartz. And we have this quartzite over here. And again here, weird pinkish red granite. And in the middle we have that quartzite which is running the gold down below. So let's scurry up and flank this pile. See if we can see anything interesting. Clearly we got a bunch of this mineralized quartzite. Here's the shaft. Look at that. Down there is about 20 feet and then we got cribbing going further down. Take a closer look at that cribbing. somewhat collapsed but it's still open when i first explored this mine down here i thought that the main adit would intersect this shaft down there but i didn't see evidence of that anywhere this really makes me think that we got other vein works up here at the top now if we study the wall rock we might be able to learn something all right so this blackish gray and it's getting mottled white and black over there that's a band of nice it extends till at least right there but on this side, you can see from here all the way across, as far as I can see, all of that mineral hosting quartzite. Let's just make sure I don't wanna fall down in there without a rope. That'd make for a bad, bad day. So from this side, oh yeah. Shoot, I might have to crawl down there. That's super sketchy though. That cribbing is falling in. You can see some stalls down there holding something up. I wonder if the shaft connects to the attic. We saw way down there, parallel to the main attic we were in. It's got all that quartzite here. It continues. Ah, okay. From this angle, quartzite. Nice. Quartzite. It's highly likely we got a mineralized band right there and possibly on this side as well. So the vein could be running like this. Pretty wild and a little scary at the same time. I'm right on the edge of this. Oh man, if I fell in there, I'd be totally screwed. I don't even have a pickaxe to claw my way up. But if I'm gonna go in there, 
I better do it sooner than later while this is still somewhat intact. From another perspective here, the most likely place for a vein to run would be right here across this way. The nice would run down here. Now I don't see that anyone tried to chase it that way or even down here. This is what I love about prospecting. There's so many possibilities. One person sees one thing, another person sees another. The gold don't care. Whoever's got the sharpest eye, the biggest digging muscles is the one who's gonna find it. Okay, so we're on the far side. I was thinking up this way. To me, it looks like the vein would jut here. Somebody dug a tiny, tiny little test hole here, but then there's nothing up here beyond it. For future prospecting, I'd come up here. We got this rock. It's realistically a prudent modern prospect. Plop down a couple more test pits. I would dig down here, do a little trenching. Let's see. And then, let's follow this across. Here we go. Look at that. Got some nice quartz. This is the rock we're chasing right here. This iron stained quartzite. Let's see if this intersects. That pile of rocks that I saw from the bottom, way down there, somewhere on this hillside should be evidence of continuation of that vein. This is the right rock, big quartz, right rock. So somewhere on this hillside can definitely be extensions and or new veinlets. This is pretty darn exciting. Mad quartz, mineralized, all this is looking good. This hillside looks like that mineralized quartzite. Could be a vein hiding anywhere in here. I mean, this is the stuff that's hosting those veins. This whole hillside has potential. Here's a bird's eye view of that shaft. That same vein could be running down slope there as well. Somebody did a little trenching in here. Here we have that intrusive rib running up the mountain. The majority of the work is on this side of it. However, I'm also seeing vein possibilities on the other side. This ridge runs all the way up. Who knows, maybe we got veinage here or on the other side like this. Another little test pit. Bunch of little test pits here, here. There's a bigger one. There's a couple up on this hillside. We got some pegmatites over there. Pretty cool figuring out what these old timers did. We got trees chopped down by ax here. And this one, and this one, this big old tree, it's not a chainsaw cut, but we got a likely a two person handsaw coming this way. Cut up here, wedge, tree fell down here. Cutting through some pretty wild terrain here. Floater of bull quartz. This is starting to look like the right stuff again. This, this hillside here can most definitely be hiding veins. You can see there aren't a whole lot of rock outcroppings. We got duff and needles everywhere. Since we don't have rock outcropping, the old timers could not see and read the ground knowing that we got veins over there, veins over there, veins over there, and veins over there. You'd think that somewhere in here we gotta have veins as well. Here we have the right looking hosting quartzite again. Giant, giant crazy ant pile. Look at this. I stepped on it, I stepped on it there accidentally. They came to life. Look at the crazy monster fury going on. The reason I'm stopping here is because the gravel got a lot more coarse here. We have super coarse grained granite and some pegmatite. This is kind of rock material that, that can host crystals, quartz, smoky quartz, amazonite, topaz, all those sorts of things. So it's just interesting. We got these crazy ants right here, coarse grained granite and pegmatite all along this hillside here. And I can tell that it's in a band from somewhere over there across to here. So if you're crystal prospecting, you'd head up this way. Uphill. Back down. I've never taken this old Pioneer donkey trail here. 
apparently nobody else does either. It's gonna be real interesting to see where this goes. I wasn't planning on going this far. Don't have my pack or water with me. But I hear some water rumbling in the distance. So worst case scenario, probably be able to find some drinking water. I might see something up here. This kind of looks like a tailings. Whoo! Tailings or waste dump up here. We might be coming up on something. All right. Mosquitoes are getting worse too. <laughs> this trail intersects this trail. Down here kind of looks like a game trail, but this is a high traffic game trail. Check this out, I was right, we do got tailings right here, some kind of shaft. It's not a huge pile. Someone definitely dug down here to take a look. We got, this is nice, country nice. Coming across, nice, nice. Maybe a little bit of quartzite. Uh, looks like most, mostly nice. Maybe there was a seam somewhere alongside of it. Who knows, back up here could be something. We're at the end of the road. Boy, is it cool down here. I can't show you guys. <laughs> this is the secret zone. We got mines over here, over here, over here, over here. Almost guaranteed this hillside's hiding something for us to find. As I go back, I always like to take a new route. See if I can find something new. Cross more ground. The more ground I cross, the more chance I have to find what it is I'm looking for. Now we're off trail. Heading up here. Bet you if I ran a bulldozer, ran a couple trenches across this hillside, we'd uncover a couple veins. Trying to tune my eye in. Looking for some little indicators that the old timers may have missed. We're looking for different right here. What's different is this, but it's not different enough. Some kind of animal hole. What's this? Much lighter colored bleached rock. And we got some bigger phenocrysts, larger quartz crystals. A little bit different. We got some nice and that. There could be some kind of seam here. No saying it's mineralized, but it's something. And we're getting into this boulder field. I'm gonna have to really tune in my eyes and look. I have a feeling there's gonna be something here. What's this? Ooh, looks like we got some pegmatite action going on. This is a big old smoky quartz band. And we're probably roughly a couple thousand feet above where I saw that crumbly stuff down there with the ants, which may have been the same material eroding from up here. There we go. We got more quartz. So that's here, it's coming down. Let's see if anything's different over here. We got rock bands, rock bands, rock band stops. There could be something here. Huge tree. Ah. This ground is really, really tough to read, but we use every advantage we can. Look down here, some kind of critter had a house back in here and dug this out. They dug out this here rock, right here. This white rock. This, this is super heavy. It's a little, a little chalky. It's much heavier than quartz. What is this? Kind of feels like calcite. If it's calcite, oh, we got a little bit of smoky on the backside. We got a little bit of quartz, a little bit of mica, and I think this is calcite. This is a bit more exciting. This is the kind of stuff you look for. We haven't seen any calcite yet. That could indicate we got some kind of other mineralized vein up in here. And the only reason we're seeing that is because some critter pulled it out to the surface. Now I'm cutting along this way. There's less mineralization over here, but you never know. You never know what you're gonna find. There's a big old tree tipped over out of a solid rock. Rain's coming in. Battery's about to die. This hill is steep as heck. Found a test pit. See what we got. Somebody dug in here on this quartzite. Now, yeah, this is quartzite, but it's more solid quartz. I was roughly a thousand feet below it down that way. It looked a little bit more interesting. Fallen tree looks cool. Ah, this doesn't look like much here. Oh, we got a little bit of iron going on. Not super, super exciting. 
We got another one over here. And we gotta get back. We gotta hoof it back to the truck before the storm comes in. Here we got another testy. This is on more solid quartz. This is the quartz side that hosts the veins. They obviously saw thicker quartz in here and decided to tunnel in. Whew. There's a dump. This is the pit down here. Uh, material, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the vanal material I'd like to see. You can see they stacked up a nice wall here. So they had high hopes, but I think it petered out. As you guys saw in the mine below, it could have been off by a couple feet, couple inches. Veins can run boom, 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 boom. Have one's cutting this way, cutting this way. Who the heck knows? They could have been right off of it. You just never know until you start digging. I'm telling you guys, windfall is your friend. We can't see any rocks, anything here. However, we got a windfall tree and it ripped up some bedrock. Look, now we can see what was under there. We got fresh dirt fresh rock we get a secret little look underground utilizing all these little tricks is definitely to your advantage over here all of a sudden we have evidence of modern man chainsaw cut trees and 60s or 70s beer look at this it's pretty high up off the ground it's got to be about five and a half six feet so they chopped it up here we had a trunk going up this way trunk going up this way this is literally five and a half feet Miner decided it was easier to cut this branch off and that branch off compared to chopping through the wider base down here. It's really neat putting yourself in the mind of these old miners. From this side, it's a good six, seven feet tall. He must have stacked up rocks or been one burly Paul Bunyan. I think this first hillside here is definitely hiding some more treasures. Here's another weird one, look at this. Someone started chopping this tree down at the base here, all the way around, got part way through. Heck, it looked like they were skinning it for some reason. See that? And someone came in and either sawed or axed, can't tell, the top area. If you guys know what happened here, that's kind of a mystery in itself. Pretty weird one. This last hillside I was just scouring looks even more promising than this. I'm gonna find something else up here, guys. I'm gonna do it. These old pioneers truly were resourceful. Ooh, okay. This test pit is revealing more than others. Look at this. Here we have kind of like a shaley sheet bedded schist, which is super weird. We don't see much of that. Comes over. Here we got that mineralized quartzite. This is the stuff, man. We got heavy quartz in here, mineralization. I wonder if they hit it or missed it. The plane between this sheeted material and that somewhere in here could be mineralized. To see how much gold we have down in this mine, watch this video right here.